guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you fun activities that can help you get the wiggles out while you're homebound. Like many other families right now, all over the world, we are stuck at home. Schools are canceled for another two weeks. All the extracurricular activities are also canceled. The parks are closed. All the venues are closed from zoos to anywhere else. So what can you do if you have very busy children? To, in my case, watch this video. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to click that subscribe button because I will be posting homeschooling videos. I will be posting lots of videos to inspire you and get your ideas on what to do with your children. For our obstacle course, I used the stepping stones to create floor as lava, then step to roller coaster was crashing into the soft blocks they had to crawl through the tunnel. This one is from Ikea. And then I put together four chairs and covered it by the parachute rainbow blanket. You can put any kind of blanket on. You don't have to have a stepping stones, you could just put the pillows on the floor. Just make it fun and engaging for your kids. This next play-based activity is counting stairs. I've created numbers from 1 through 10 and tamed them to our stairs. You can go as high as you can. If you want to practice 11 through 20, you're more than welcome to do so. Then I picked out the corresponding number of objects to each number I wanted to practice and put them in the basket. Baby Justin had to count them and then put the corresponding number of objects to the number that it related to. It is a great way to practice counting and also get some activity out because you have to run up and down the stairs. Pom-pom race is one of our favorite activities just on a daily basis. I usually dump a bunch of pom-poms. I think I have about 20 to 22 at this point and give both kids close pins. This activity works on pincer grasp. It also works on counting and it makes it fun. We time the kids to see who goes faster. And then at the end of it, you have to count the number of pom-poms. If one of them is not able to count, the other person wins. Alphabet scavenger hunt is another fun way to practice your letter recognition. You can do this also with numbers. You can do it as well with shapes, depending on what you're working with your child. For this one, as an example, I use Scarlett's name. I put all of the letters in the mystery bag where she had to um, get them out. And then I taped out the letters to corresponded objects around the house.
have a considerable collection of board games. So nothing like board games on rainy day, and especially if you want to wind down by the nighttime. So we're playing Kaplunk right now. If you want to see all of our games, I will link the video for you right now on the screen because I went through the, our entire collection of fun age appropriate games for young children. So make sure to check it out. Bath time is one of the best times for the parent to chill out, I find myself. So this time we're doing an ice cubes bath. I put the dinosaurs inside the ice cubes. You can do flower petals, you can do small animals, you can do letters, you can do numbers, whatever floats your boat, so to say. Uh, my kids both love dinosaurs, so that was really fun. It just adds a little extra play during the bath time and makes it super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a like if you did also subscribe to my channel for more videos of this kind there will be plenty of them coming from homeschooling to ideas what to do with your children that are fun play-based but developmental nonetheless and that will help you get active with your kids during this time i hope to see you soon